Three vertical stripes, blue, yellow, and red. A country with a flag that looks like Chad, Romania, Moldova. What? Confused? That's the country we are heading to today. Andorra is the 150 country I visited. It only has a population of 85,000 and it can fit into the city of London more than 30 times, making it one of the smallest countries in the world. Just arrived at Barcelona airport. Now going to get my rental car drive to Andorra. It's bordering France and Spain, so you can drive in from either country. The easiest way is to drive from Barcelona because there's no airport inside Andorra. And that's exactly what I did. This is the line of waiting for rental car. The drive from Barcelona to Andorra is rather long, about three hours, but it is during this long drive that I've really come to appreciate Spain. I didn't appreciate before during the last two visits a few years ago. The highways and well-built roads in Spain are truly impressive. All the way from Barcelona to Andorra, almost three hours drive. I barely see a dent on the road. It's such a great infrastructure, isn't it? The tolls are a bit pricey, 26 euros one way, but because there are a lot of tunnels through the mountains, the scenery along the way is just beautiful. Welcome to Andorra! There are many lessons that travel around the world has taught me and one of the most important lessons is that I've always found things I'm grateful for. Maybe the first two times in this country, I didn't quite like it, but every time I revisit, it always brings me new perspectives in life and it just enlightens me completely. And you know how much happier you feel when you had low expectation on something in your previous experience? Then when you find something a bit better, you just feel absolutely wow. And that makes your day. The cappuccino cup here is like lighting shade. It basically, you can squeeze out this cappuccino from the cap up there. It's kind of interesting. So how is it like traveling in such a small country? Andorra is really peaceful. It has never been in a war for almost 1,000 years. It really counts its blessings of being in a non-strategic location. You know how much we all grew up learning from our history textbooks classes that all the countries wanted to gain powers, world ranking, get more lands and control their people by intruding into other lands, other territories, by violently setting fires by killing numerous innocent citizens and residents around the world, the Roman Empire, the Three Kingdoms Dynasty, the Two World Wars, to the recent Russian-Ukraine battle. As I travel around the world, now I have completed 85% of the world, I've been thinking to myself, if there were no war in the past 1000 years, how would the world look like? Perhaps for me? Instead of visiting 193 UN countries, now I will have to visit 350 countries in the world because there were no consolidation or efficiency. I always care about efficiency when I'm at work, but in my personal life, I'm not necessarily in such a masculine energy, but I'm actually quite relaxed, enjoy and be at the present moment. I think it's so important to balance masculine and feminine energy in our life. As you've already seen how nice the scenery is in Andorra, 9% of the country has UNESCO World Heritage status. Isn't it a blessing to see such beautiful mountains and nature? No war has destroyed its beauty and its peace. No matter where you are, if you're complaining about your home being too small, you don't have enough money to buy a bigger place, just step out of your room, take a breath in the trees, enjoy some of the free stuff that nature brings you. My first impression of Andorra is a very modern and wealthy country and again, thanks to the blessing of no wars. There are huge supermarkets and the gas stations at the foothills, which I never get to see in the last few countries like San Marino, Mota. The country is just like a little valley blocked by the mountains around. Andorra de la Vela is the capital. At 3,300 feet above sea level. It is the highest capital in Europe. Not sure if you guys know, but Andorra is not part of EU. Even though it uses Euro, in fact, Andorra has never had its own currency or its national bank. 
Before Euro was introduced, it used the Spanish and the French franc. And by the way, Andorra is the only country in the world that has Catalan as its own official language, not Spain. What amazes me is that two-thirds of the population do not actually have an Andorra nationality. Most are Spanish, French, or Portuguese. Spanish makes up 43%. Just thinking about the fact that two-thirds of the population is not Andorran, isn't it amazing? You can tell how inclusive this country is. And no matter which country you're from, nobody cares where you're from. Nobody cares where you were born. Everyone lives peacefully inside this little valley. Unlike many other countries out there that makes it so hard for people to immigrate to their country. Andorra is like, everyone is welcome. No one bothers you, judges you in any way. Isn't it amazing just to think about that? Maybe that's why people here have one of the world's highest life expectancies. For male, it's about 80 years old. For female, it's about 84 years old. Because they're peaceful then, they just live their lives. Hotel in Andorra. And my hotel is in the city center. It's very new, modern, and nice. Hotel gave you this hurricane, which is like period pads. The hotel sign, no molester, do not molest. It's kind of funny language. The dinner at the hotel offers three courses. I tried the semorejo, which is a cold tomato-based soup with very unique taste. See, it's got some bread on the side. Let's try it out. Oh, it's actually cold soup. It's a little bit sour. Something you have to try. And salty. Tastes very, very different from any soup that I've tried before. So I ordered like three courses dinner. The total everything. It's only 24 euro for three courses, which is not bad. And of course, I ordered a house red wine, which is extra charge. Cheers. And I tried a veal and an orange dessert like the jello cake. They all taste unique and very interesting. The freshness taste of its meal, it's very much aligned with its image of being in the mountains and nature. Local chili sauce called Piri Piri. The city center is so cozy and lovely with river running across the center. The mountains around it block a lot of winds, so even though at night time the temperature is only like 50 degrees Fahrenheit, it doesn't feel cold at all. No wonder its skiing resource is so well known. This is the border control between Spain and Andorra. The immigration into Andorra is just a booth where the officers sit inside and you don't even need to show your passport. To me, Andorra is a lovely place even though it's quite small. As I mentioned, it is so important to balance masculine and feminine energy in our life. So this trip to Andorra allows me to gain that balance. And by this trip, I have 43 countries left until I complete every single country in the world. I'll continue to update my journeys on my YouTube. If you want to see more instant updates, do follow me on Instagram. My handle is the crazy koala. Or if you want to see some of my private journal on my Patreon, do join my Patreon at patreon.com slash the crazy koala. Otherwise, stay tuned and don't forget to like, subscribe, and share my channel on social media too.